And the flag is dropped and away they go for the Coral Pendle Novices Chase at Grade 2 over two miles, four and a half furlongs. And on the near side, Pembroke on the rail, just leading to Tamuras out wide and in between them, blow your wad as they jump the first fence in a good leap from Pembroke. A little left-handed perhaps from Tamuras, then blow your wad, the Mayor Arclight is back in fourth in the diamond jacket and the nose-banded, red-jacketed Soul Icon in last place as they jumped the second. Soul Icon made a slight mistake and Pembroke again jumping left-handed. On to an open ditch. Pembroke coming in to take this in the hands of Harry Skelton. Over from Blow Your Wad and Arclight getting up the far rail, the inside rail. And then Tarmuris on the outside, and they're some way clear of Soul Icon, who's a bit uh, outpaced at this early stage. And a mistake there from Arclight. Dragged her hind legs through that fence and uh, lost a couple of lengths. Arclight back in fourth place as they turn right-handed now towards the home straight for the first time. So Pembroke moved very well to the start. Pembroke leads the way to Tarmuris in second. Harry Cobden seeking a double for trainer Paul Nichols. Blow your wad on the inside under Stan Shepard and then Arclight and Nico de Boinville. And they are clear of Sol Icon and Gavin Sheehan. Into the home straight, three fences in a line. Good jump from Pembroke, the leader there, from Tarmuris. Sol Icon just lingering in the air at the back of the field. On to the next, Pembroke leading. Harry Skelton looking for a stride, found one. Tarmuris out wide, blow your wad over on the far side in the noseband and cheek pieces, and then arc light, and it must be eight or ten lengths back to Soul Icon. The fence in front of the stands, Pembroke comes in to take it, jumps it fluently from Tarmuris and blow your wad, and then two and a half lengths to arc light, and Soul Icon still a little bit off the pace, off the group as they run towards this right hand turn. Bit of a run to the next, a plain fence, then it'll be an open ditch. Pembroke not handling the bend all that well there, but continues to lead the way. Tarmuris on the outside, quite a sharp turn, that right-hander. Blow your wad on the inner, arc light, and then Soul Icon. On to the next plain fence. Harry Skelton on Pembroke with Harry Cobden and Tom Morris nearly alongside, probably half length, three quarters of length down as they head into this plain fence. Both fiddle over from Blow Your Wad in third, Arc Light in touch, and Soul Icon possibly getting a bit closer at the back of them over another open ditch. Pembroke clears it well, left-handedly from Tom Morris. Then on the inside, Blow Your Wad, very close up now. Two lengths away to Arc Light and Soul Icon. So about to run into the back straight. Four fences down the back, three in the home straight to be negotiated. And Pembroke has led all the way so far. Tarmuris, close second on the outside of Blow Your Wad, then Arclight and Soul Icon now only about five lengths off them. Down the back straight and on towards a couple of plain fences followed by an open ditch, Pembroke. Coming into the wings of the next from Tarmuris on the outside, good jumping. They've just kicked on a little from Blow Your Ward there in third place, got a shake of the reins on landing. Arc Light, Nico de Boinville crouching a little lower perhaps, and then Soul Icon over the next. Pembroke jumping well from Tarmuris. Then uh, on the inside, next to the rail is Blow Your Ward. Arc Light's just struggling to keep up at this stage, so too Soul Icon, now this open ditch. Pembroke coming in to take it, five out. Jumps it well from Blow Your Wad, and Tarmuris just nudged away from the fence. Arclight just can't go with them at all, and then Soul Icon going on towards the last in the back straight. Pembroke up and over, Blow Your Wad now just second as Tarmuris comes under a little bit of pressure from Harry Cobden as they run the right-hander. Pembroke with know your wad, uh, Blow Your Wad looking the big danger in second place, moving out to to the quarters of the leader. Then in third place is Tarmuris as they swing now, right-handed with three fences left to jump. Pembroke, just a half length to blow your wad. Three lengths away to Tarmuris, who's hard at work, and the other two well beaten off, ranging down to the third last. Pembroke and blow your wad in the air together, landing absolutely toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They're away from Tarmuris, who's trying to rally now under a vigorous ride, and running down to the final, the last two fences, and blow your wad coming through to 
Master Pembroke, but Tarmuras has fought back. And it's Blow Your Wad who now has got to fend off Tarmuras as Pembroke looks beaten. Down to the last, Blow Your Wad, Tarmuras within a length and a half. It's Blow Your Wad on the far side of Tarmuras, both coming up well. Blow Your Wad on the far side, Tarmuras putting in a, a sprint down the near side. Blow Your Wad just holding on from Tarmuras. And Blow Your Wad by about a half length wins the pendle from the rallying Tarmuras. Back in third, Pembroke and Soul Icon in fourth, Arclight pulling up. Stan Shepherd on his way back, having just landed the grade two Pendle Novices chase on Blow Your Wild. Congratulations, uh, Stan. Um, did you get there a little bit sooner than ideally you wanted to? Would you have preferred Harry to give you a longer lead in? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, like he's hit the front before and wandered around a bit. Um, so it was in my mind, but he was travelling so well, I didn't want to disappoint him too much. And the cheek pieces probably helped him out the last sort of half a furlong. And I let him come over to the middle of the track where Harry was, so he might feel him and push him on a bit. And in defence to him, when Tamiris came to him, he had every opportunity not to fancy it today. If he didn't want to, he battled. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he's, de he's, de he's definitely got ability. He's just trying to get all channeled in the right direction on the same day at the same time. This is the tricky bit, but no, that's probably a, a career best today, so hopefully he can go on for this. Um, look, he's only six years of age. To an extent, is he going to be a chaser for next season, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the only headache we might have is I think he's probably better right-handed, um, which is why I don't think he went around Cheltenham last time. But I thought he might do, because he'd won around Newbury last year over hurdles, but Newbury and Cheltenham are very different places, so we'll just have to hear and stand down and say he might be regulars. Um, what did you make of the ground on the chase course? Uh, just soft, maybe a bit heavier in places, but on the whole, it's not that bad at all. Well done. It's fine, thank you. Perfect. Cheers, Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.